それでは続いての皆さんは台湾の台北ミニシパルジョンシャンガールズハイスクールからお越しいただきましたリン・シュヨンさんです指導はザン・ヤーピン先生ですそれではどうぞよろしくお願いいたしますプラスチックプラスチックプラスチックプラスチックプラスチックプラスチックプラスチックプラスチックプラスチックプラスチックプラスチックプラスチックプラスチックプラスチックプラスチックプラスチックプラスチックプラスチックプラスチックプラスチック
We think that this is because the double bound in ABS plastic is a structural defect. And thus, this makes it easier for copper atoms to attach on it. And next, we do the electrical resistance on the ABS plastic before and after plating. Before plating, we can see that the electrical resistance is unlimited. And after plating, the resist resistance dropped to 0 0.07 ohm. So we can know that a layer of copper is plated on it. And we try the we try the effect of different complexing agents. From the from the chart, we can know that without complexing agents, the reaction couldn't occur, like this one has shown. There is no copper atoms on the surface of the plastic. And then we use EDTA as a complexing agent. And this isn't successful too. But when the complexing agent is citrate, tartrate, or acetate, these both are successful. We think that this is because the copper complex stability contents is much higher than, in EDTA system is much higher than other three ones. So it means that the CU EDTA2 minus complex seems more stable than CU tartrate complex and so on. So in this, in the EDTA system, a stronger reducing agent is required in order to put the copper atoms on the plastic. And then this is the mechanism of electroless copper plating. The purple one is the formula of the reaction. At first, an ionic copper EDTA complex is attached to CH2O by 4 OH minus. So H2O is formed. And some electrons are transferred to CU EDTA2 minus. And forming copper atom. And the copper atom dispose on the vial wall. Last. The Cu plus formate remains absorbed on the surface disproportionate in the presence of the EDTA anion to Cu EDTA2 minus. And this is the mechanism of SNCl2 sensitized process and AgNO3 activated process. In the activation phase, we put the plastic into SNCO2 solution. So tin ions are attached to the surface of plastic and forming a uniform layer. After that, HGN is reduced by tin ion, become silver atoms, like, like this formula shows. And at last, the deposit copper atom is catalyzed by silver atoms on the surface. And then we use another system. It's valine reagent and glucose. In the previous experiments, we can know that Cu2 plus could be reduced to copper atoms by RCHO. And the test for reducing sugars and non-reducing sugars is known as failing test. If there is aldehydes in the compound, the, color the colors change from, from blue to red. This is because CO CO2O is formed, and CO2O is red, so the color change. And this is the formula of the copper mirror. 
made from failing reagents and glucose. And this is glucose. And we can see that copper atoms could be formed. And this is a result of our copper mirror made by failing reagents and glucose system. We can see that a beautiful copper mirror was obtained on the wall. And the surface activated by silver ions is necessary from the result. From the results, we can see that the concentration of silver ions is very important. The more, the higher the, when the concentration of silver ions is higher, the amount of copper atoms attached to the wall is larger, like this picture has shown. We can note that when the silver ions concentration is 0.02 n, copper atoms couldn't be formed. And when silver, silver ions concentration is larger than 0.1 n, the copper film would be too thick and it will be and it will fall off from the wall. And this is our conclusion. We made a beautiful copper mirror in HGNO3 ring sample vial using failing reagent and glucose as reducing agent. And this process is much simpler and environmentally friendly than general method. The, the effect of compressing reagents and substrates in CuSO4 and NH2PO2 and KNS system are also investigated. Copper coating on treated ABS plastic makes the resistance drop from infinity to 0 0.07 omega. And in the future, we plan to observe the surfaces by SEM and XPS. And then we also plan to do CO3 calculation in a reaction mechanism. We special send to Professor Sasamori and Tagami from Nagoya City University and Dr. Ai Zhen Chen from National Taiwan University. And thank you for your listening. ありがとうございました。では質問のお時間ですのでご質問のある方は挙手をお願いいたします。マイクをお持ちいたします。ご質問のある方いらっしゃいますでしょうか。はい、お願いいたします。Thank you, Mr. Presentation. My question is uh, uh, about the quality of the copper mirror. You showed us the conductivity of the copper mirror for one substance. And in future, in future, you will check the roughness of surface by STM or, uh, STM or some kind of the microscopy. And uh, conductivity is a good, um, good parameter to check the uh, quality of the mirror or not. Uh, that's my question. Uh, can you please say your question? My question is, uh, we want to know the quality of the mirror. You measure the conductivity of the mirror. Conduct is conductivity is a good uh, good to measure uh, good term to check the uh, quality of your mirror. Yes. Or not? That's my question. Because you, you just show us the conductivity of the one substrate. I want to know the how change how conductivity is changed if you make a mirror and a bad condition. Look. Um, the conductivity is, you mean that the conductivity is what? Um, so we use, we plan to use the SEM to check the reaction of on the surface.
ありがとうございますその他ご質問のある方いらっしゃいますでしょうかではお時間も参りましたので以上とさせていただきたいと思います台湾の台北ミニシパルジョンシャンガールズハイスクールからお越しいただきましたリーさんでしたありがとうございました